take off, wing pass will be 20 degrees. Five, five, echo, left base, round Carbine will be cold. Tiers. Once we line up, we'll go to full power, 2400 RPMs. Elevator, we'll keep the elevator tail low. Allowing nose to come off the ground prematurely. The idea here is to relieve the weight of the airplane off the wheels and onto the wings as soon as possible. Why? Because we're on a soft surface. Because we're trying to get into ground effect to speed up to do our takeoff speed. Okay. Yeah, I see them turning base to final right now, so we're going to give them some time. Last thing we're going to do is scare a new, new pilot. Okay. And um, once we're off the ground, we're in ground effect, we'll slightly lower the nose, and we'll climb it at 55. Once we're clear of obstacles, tap the brakes, retract gear, nose down for B, Y. And once we're past through 75, we'll begin to reduce the flaps. So for training purposes, I would suggest 64, 64, which is our VM. So the P ACS or whatever the heck it is now, PTS, whichever one you want to use, is going to say, okay, it's going to say VX or VY. It doesn't tell you you have to do 55 is our VX with flaps, but it's going to be a more appropriate maneuver at 64 to where you can actually demonstrate ground effect. Otherwise, you're just taking off. Yeah, we could rotate you 50, get, get we take down off down and, Yeah, it's time to go up. Yep. Lights, camera, action. Oh, let's keep that at 20. Maybe. Wow, they're going all the way to the end. You right over there? Yep, good to go. Okay. Hey, first guy, traffic, Skyline 759 to Yankees, taking off runway 17 with close traffic. There's. Off field, go all the way back, I'm checking, base and final from both sides. One coming in at opposite end, camera action, and here we're going to make wide swooping turns, and little to no braking, possible, so that we don't bog the aircraft down into the soup. And definitely be prepared for that right rudder. Go, nose wheel straight, smoothly applying full power. Bring the nose up to the end of the runway. There, keep it there. Airspeed alive. Engine green. Off the ground, staying ground effect. Whoops, not settling. There. Oh, we're at 60. Now I can let the airplane fly on its own. We're above obstacles. Here we simulate. Gear up. Here's right rudder. Got more tendencies. Just for that, 
We're down about 17 inches of mouthful pressure. That should hold our altitude and our speed approximately 100 knots with gear down. Good traffic. Okay. What kind of landing? Soft, gear. soft. Okay. We're going to keep it soft. We're crabbed in with that little bit of wind that's up here that's not down there. And the gas on the carriage makes fuel prop, fuel pump, and seat belts. Everyone, seat belts. Seat belt is on. Good. Awesome. Good. Good. And we're midfield. Good. Looking for traffic. Listing out for anyone that's out there. There we come. Being our numbers. Use power. And RP. 10 degrees of laps. And we're going to hold this. We get 90. And we'll pitch for 90. Prop full. Notice there was no change. Sound. That's what you want. Turn. 45. Key position. Runway. Oh, actually, once we turn on base, then we're in key position. But 45 degrees from the runway. You're going to touch down point. Where are you going to make your turn to base? Here's kind of traffic. Skyline 7592 Yankee is on left base. 17. We'll stop here. Traffic, Skyline 7590 Yankee, base to final, 17 Pierce. Traffic Tango is departing, pattern to the west, runway 17, Pierce. 30 degrees, 40 degrees. And since we want to go down, we're going to pull those up. We're in the area of reverse. So we're looking for what kind of approach speed? 65. Soft, 65. Right here, a little bit of power. Ah. So it starts to man it at you, then, then just use more power. So you didn't have enough power in there to land. You had enough to set it down. You needed more power there in the end because it kind of was starting to get funky. Put enough power in to get a smooth, soft landing. And then... We'll drop. Taking off runway 17, that's close traffic. Cheers. Hey, pull back. Close this up. Checking base final. Downwind. And our announcement. Camera action. Once again, wide turns. No use of brakes. And it, it's minimal. I don't want to use brakes, but, you know. I also don't want to run off the thing. Okay, as the nose wheel straightens out, we'll smoothly apply full power and get that right rudder in there. for the runway, I want to slow my airspeed up. I dive and I'm covering the distance, whereas I could have gone slow, dropped in. Go. Look at that, 63, 65 is fine, because it's safer than 63. Right. We're also trying to clear that obstacle. Got my spot, power's all the way out. Down, five. I bring the power in right there. More power. More power. 
but keep your nose up. So your nose needs to be up and don't take your power out until you're actually ready for it. So hold that nose up there. Now back the power out. It's out. And the nose comes in. So we land a little fast there, but we would want to have that that power in because your nose, you couldn't get it up high enough basically because the thing just wants to flop. Yeah. So the power is what you need to hold the nose up. If you don't have it, then it's not going to do it. And I want to hear, you know, it's, it's 200, 300 RPMs worth of noise. Okay. You want to hear the engine when you're adding the power. Yeah, I mean, it, it, we, we heard it, but I mean, it, it needs to be doubled that probably for that initial power in to keep this nose up because it, it's heavy. This thing is crazy. Looking. The cozy? Is that a cozy? Or a uh, long easy? Long easy? Yeah, it's a long easy. Okay, release. Likely tail low. Airspeed live. Engine green. If I'm struggling with it. 
Some days it blows the heck out of you. And there's the horn, and we'll take it just above that. Get back up to 60. Uh, that wasn't the horn. No. That, that was the horn. No. That's, that's the not horn. the horn. Not? Oh, that's... <laughs> That was, a, that, was a, that was the beginning. That's the sound of the banshees wailing through the thing. <laughs> <laughs> so about 50, you're fine. But it sounds like a horn, sort of. But the other day you said 60. Because uh, we were hearing that. But I was like, okay, don't ignore that. So, so what do you want, 55, 60? 55, 50. We need to be about 10 knots over the green, probably. And it does sound like a stall warning horn, but maybe point out that it's not. Super annoying. And, yep, good. Realistic distraction. Very realistic. Yep. And then you already got your car beat, so that's good. Yep. And then looking to hold that airspeed, which will also can help me get up a little bit, but then it's going to start to hurt me because I'm on the backside of the power curve. Right. So by going 58, you're, 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 you're able to climb a little better than you would at 50 or 55. because you're, you're further away from the back of the power curve. You're still in it, but I mean, you're you're getting on the, almost the positive side. Get that back down. Oh. <laughs> okay, and then how did I turn? A uh, standard rate or less. Okay. And so, go ahead and give me a turn to 112 and explain that to me. What's standard rate? Okay, standard rate. Obviously, we were using our turn coordinator, so approximately 15 degrees. Clear left. Well, why Very is it 15 degrees? degrees? Approximately. Okay, so how many degrees are you turning right now? Again? How many degrees are you turning right now? 10. Okay, and it's, it's pegged, the right? Indicator. So why does that change? That is the most awesome question. What do you got? So it depends on speed. Standard rate turn is three degrees per second, but by the faster I'm going, the wider the turn's gonna be. So the more bank I need to do that 360 degree turn. So at slow speeds, that we pivot around. So it's a very tight turn, it happens very quickly. We don't cover very much distance on the three degrees. So like right now, 30 degrees, I mean, it's that swath. If we're doing